you do it's your boy wavy stay wavy tv back at y'all with another one let's get it man so 21 savage has responded to soldier boy talking crazy about metro boomer's mom for those that don't know um metro boomer's mom i believe this was last year um she was uh murdered by her husband at the time that's not metro boomer's uh dad but his stepdad apparently murdered his mom last year um and soldier boy so pretty much check this out right because of the soldier because of the metro booming and drake beef a lot of drake fans have been going through metro booming's old tweets and apparently they found a tweet where he basically was clowning soldier boy um he basically was saying that you know he said i pull up to the studio and i make beats for young jeezy um you niggas is sending packs to soldier boy he basically was saying that uh producers aren't on his level you understand what i'm saying so soldier boy saw this and soldier boy got pissed and soldier boy posted some screenshots of metro booming actually trying to send him beats in 2012 you know what i'm saying and um soldier boy just started talking crazy soldier boy went as far as to you know wish metro happy mother's day and he just basically started disrespecting Metro Boomin's mom who passed away last year. You know what I'm saying? So 21 so uh 21 Savage um responded to Soulja Boy because Soulja Boy told Metro to delete the tweets. So 21 said, you know, or what? Like if, if Metro don't delete the tweets, what you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? And Soulja Boy said, nigga, I'm gonna slap the shit out of both of y'all niggas. You know what I'm saying? So Soulja Boy just start talking crazy. He continued to disrespect Metro Boomin's mom. Um, and he, you know, he basically was telling 21 Savage he's a bitch and he'll shoot him and he'll beat him up and he'll slap the shit out of him. And 21 Savage responded like at five in the morning. What the fuck is 21 Savage doing on Twitter at five in the morning? But 21 Savage said, you know, yo, check this out. Since you want to talk crazy about, about, about Metro's mom, when I see you, I'm gonna make you shit yourself. Basically saying whenever he crosses paths with Soldier Boy, um, you know, he's gonna do something to him. You know what I'm saying? Um, so with that being said, man, um things is gonna get real spooky when Soldier Boy and 21 Savage cross paths. Um, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, man. Um I got Soldier Boy knocking 21 Savage the fuck out. Like, and I say that because Soldier Boy comes across as a hothead. Like, I think Soldier Boy has some serious anger problems. Like there's been a lot of stories, um, you know, we, we've just seen Soldier Boy just, just flash out, and we all know back in the day when them dudes ran up in his crib, he shot like three dudes, you know what I'm saying? Like, so he's definitely a shooter, um, but Soldier Boy just seems like a hothead, man. I think when he gets disrespected, the fact, listen, check this out, the fact that Soldier Boy is willing to disrespect anybody that disrespects him first, that lets me know he stands on business, right? 21 Savage comes across to me as a nigga that picks and chooses his battles. Like he picks and chooses who he wants to get tough with. For example, and Soulja Boy said this as well, your boy Drake, who you dropped the album with last year, he's been getting attacked by the whole industry, in including getting attacked by your, well, by one of your right hand men's Metro Boomin, right? And not one time did you stick up for him, not one time, did you defend Drake? Not one time did you try to stop everybody coming at Drake. You just sitting back, just eating popcorn, drinking Hennessy, just watching the show like everybody else. And it's like, bruh, this is supposed to be your mans. You just gonna let your mans just get attacked by a whole rap game, bruh? You know what I'm saying? Like that done went number one. Now they not like us going number one. You know, even even if you don't want to diss Metro Boomin because that's your boy, you could at least say something to Kendrick, right? You could at least diss Kendrick Lamar and Rick Ross. You just letting everybody just talk crazy about Drake. To the point now, like, everybody's looking at Drake like he's a fucking pedophile. You know what I'm saying? And this nigga helped elevate your career by doing the Her Lost album with you. Now, I'm going to be honest, right? You got to be honest. 21 doing that album with Drake helped Drake as well, right? That's a fact. There's a reason why Drake likes to collaborate with younger artists because it, it helps him maintain his relevancy. So we can't just give all the credit to Drake 
we also got to give credit to 21 Savage. 21 Savage, he did a good job on that album, right? So, but my thing is this, man. Um, 21, that's some sucker shit letting everybody just talk greasy about Drake, bro. But you want to get gangster with Soldier Boy. You want to you wanna decide to get tough with the nigga that made Crank That, the nigga that makes dance songs. Like, come on, bro. Like, everybody knows Soldier Boy um, isn't the toughest dude in the world. But one thing we do know about Soldier Boy is he going to stand on business every time, bro. He don't give a fuck who you are, bro. Once you disrespect Soldier Boy, he's disrespecting you times 50. He's going to take it as far as it can go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And um, this ain't the first time we've seen Soldier Boy disrespect the dad. We've seen him do that with Young Dolph. Remember, Soldier Boy had an issue with uh, Young Dolph and Key Glock. And when Young Dolph passed away, Soldier Boy started talking crazy about um, he started talking crazy about Young Dolph after he passed away. So that's what Soldier Boy does, man. You understand what I'm saying? Like Soldier Boy don't have no picks, bro. You disrespect Soldier Boy, <laughs> he's coming at your neck, man. But I will say this though, right? This is a situation where we could seriously see one of these guys get hurt, right? That's a fact. This is definitely a situation that if it doesn't get addressed, this can get out of hand. These niggas might run into each other, right? And somebody might possibly die. So with that being said, um, WAC 100, bro, set up a celebrity boxing match, man. Pay these niggas a million, two million each, you know what I'm saying? And let's get this fight on pay-per-view, man, because I think this shit will I think this shit'll do numbers. Would y'all pay for that? Would y'all pay pay-per-view to see Soldier Boy Box 21? I wouldn't because I got a fire stick, so I'll watch it illegally, but I'm asking y'all, my audience, would y'all pay money to see Soldier Boy fight 21 in a boxing match, man? And if you would, who you got winning the fight? I'll put my money on Soldier Boy. 100 percent 100 percent 21 Savage looks like he looks like one of those niggas that just shoots, bro. He looks like a nigga that he'll shoot you, but he don't know how to fight. You feel me? But it's an even match. Both of these niggas are skinny as fuck, right? They're both like the same height. I think these niggas are both like six feet. So this is this is actually a perfect matchup. These niggas is in the same weight class, toothpick. They both in this toothpick weight class. And I think this would be a fair, entertaining ass fight, man. But yep, I got Young Draco beating up 21 Savage. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment, subscribe. It's your boy. Me.